That's fine. We can leave it like this. Can you hear Spotify? You can't, can you? Hold up. Yeah, it's Spotify now, innit? Okay. Okay, okay, we're here. Muscles out, you know what I'm saying? Right, let me... It's probably best if I stand up. So, I'll start with my hand. Okay? Because that's probably the most obvious. So, on my hand, I have an eagle on the right side of my hand. As you can see here. There's an eagle. Right here. Actually, a bit closer. So I got an eagle there. And then I got like a, a rose here. This rose used to be shit. So basically, the story is the first. So when I turned 18, I was like, fuck it. I'm 18. I'm going to tattoo my hand. So literally, one of my first tattoos was this rose. But it was really shit when I first got it. So I got somebody else to go over the top of it. So now it's like nicer and darker. But yeah, that's the hand. So it's like two things. I want to eventually fill this out here. Get some shit in here. And then something up here. And maybe like on here as well. I want to get it a bit more, a bit more full. But I've also got this. Which is like a little, uh, I don't know, just something random. I don't even know what it is, bro. I just wanted it. Because eventually I want all of my fingers as well. And this one. So this is the worst tattoo I have, right? This is a Playboy bunny. And it cost me £10. And I was like, so I went to get the rose. It was the day I was getting the rose. And I was like, how much is it for a hand tap? And the guy was like, it's £10, bro. And I was sitting there and I was like, tenor. What can I get on my hand for a tenor? And then the person I was with was like, oh, you won't get a Playboy bunny. I said, you won't. So I said, I will, mate. And I did it. So I did it. Will I eventually get it covered up? Probably. But I did it anyway, because I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Do it for the boys, innit? So I did it. So now I have this on my middle finger. The only thing I have on my fingers as well is literally that. But eventually I will have these and have these as well. But right now, that's all we got. So is what it is. Oh. Wait, is there a delay on like the camera when I'm speaking? Is there not? Or we good? No, there's not. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so let me get you onto my other tattoos then. So I need to stand up for these. So then, this, so my all time favorite artist is Kanye West. So I have. That's my Kanye West thing. Little uh, graduation bear, you know what I'm saying? Active thing. I've got a, a feather. So the story behind the feather, this is a good story as well. So I will actually sit down to tell you this because this is actually an enjoyable story to tell. Basically, yeah. So I was driving home from work. I used to work at Nike, right? Before I started streaming, I worked at Nike and I got fired from Nike. And when I used to drive home, I used to have to drive past this barn. And basically, there was an owl in the middle of the road. Like a big owl, like big curved owl in the middle of the road, right? And I was going probably like 60. And, bro, basically, I see the owl. And in my head, I thought, right, I can straddle it. I was like, it's, it's small enough that if I don't slow down, it will be under the bumper of my car and I can just go straight over it. And as I got closer to it, I looked it dead in the eye and then I just hear, boom. And I'm like, no. And I look behind me in my rear view and I just see, just see an owl like this, that just fucking splattered on the side, like wing proper crooked. And I was like, oh fuck, I've only gone and killed an owl. So the next day, the next day, I go to work again, and I drive past, and there's nothing on the road but one singular feather. And it was this exact feather that I've got tattooed. This exact feather was just on the road where I'd hit it, perfectly placed laying there, right? And that's not the reason, that's not the only reason I got the tattoo, right? So that feather was there. Fast forward about a month. Every single fucking thing that was happening in my life was related to an owl. So I was with my girlfriend. 
and we somehow ended up going to an owl sanctuary. So that was like, okay, that's weird. Like we went to an owl sanctuary. That was like, okay, owl related. Then it was like, when else did I see an owl? Then I was like, oh, I'm going to go and look on Palace for some new clothes. I go on Palace. There was a skateboard design that was the eyes of an owl on a skateboard. And it was the exact owl that I ran over. And then what else did I see? It was more than that. It would be like I'd go to I'd go to a restaurant and I'd get given a plate and the plate would have an owl on it. Or like, oh, what else was it, man? There was more stuff as well. It was like I was at my auntie's house and she, and I was telling her the story and then she pours me a fucking pot of tea and there's an owl on top of the teapot. It was like everywhere I went for like months, I was seeing owls everywhere, 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 everywhere. So in my head, I was like, okay, say less. This is my thing. So I was like, I will get the feather of the owl that I ran over and it will commemorate the owl that haunted me so that I will never forget it. And since I did that, I've not seen any owl related stuff. So now I'm at one with the owls and I've I've cleaned my conscience. So that's it. That's it. So I just got it because I was seeing it everywhere. I was like, bro, it's too weird not to. So that's the, the explanation for that one. Then I've got this, which is obvious if you know about the artist. But this is a MF Doom. This is MF Doom's mask. So that's MF Doom's mask, and uh, which is obviously self-explanatory. It's just one of my favorite rappers of all time. When he died, I wanted to get it. Uh, and then this. Is a koi fish because uh, my uh, my granddad who died and passed away was like a big uh, collector of like koi fish, so that was like to commemorate commemorate him. So I got a koi fish there. Then I got what else have we got? And this one is my so my girlfriend designed this, but I put out the first ever project that I put out under Ty Green that like went kind of big for me, and that got me into like uh, into the music scene it was a beat tape called Birdhouse which was just nothing but beats and it kind of popped off and got played on the radio and shit. And uh, so I got this one, which is basically the cover art of the album. Right now I've got like, I've got hella tattoos, but they're all really weirdly spaced out. Like I'm in the process now of like getting shit to like fill it out so my whole arm's full. But that's that one. Then I have on this arm, I have a spanner because my nan is a fucking G and my nan is like my fucking favorite person. And she, uh, the nickname that I used to call her when I was like a proper Ute was Nana Spanner. So to commemorate my G of a nan, we had to get a spanner, you know what I'm saying? Then we've also got a bumblebee because it was on sale. So I copped the bumblebee. And then I, I don't, so this one I don't like. It's cool, yeah? But I don't like this one, innit? I don't like this one. Um, when the film The Joker came out, I, I was gassed. Big man, it, was that, uh, it was like the best film I've seen in a minute. You're a pussy, bro. I'm really badly struggling. I'm literally like falling asleep. <laughs> I hear you, bro. So I got The Joker. We sold Vinny and, and, Dom, and Dom Which Dombele. I don't like. I don't like and this one because of the steps. The lines are a bit mad. One day I think I'm going to get something on top of this because I'm not too keen on it. But that's that one. Um, and I got a butterfly on my like bicep. Which you can see. And then I've got... 2009 on the inner of my bicep because that's the year my little brother was born and then what else have I got I've got I've got this which says 1969 which is the year my parents were born and then I got this which is a shit tattoo that I got in some random rundown shop in the middle of nowhere which is like a old school TV what else have I got? I'm trying to think what else I got. Is that everything? I showed you everything. Oh shit. Wait, can I get my stomach out on Twitch? Will I get my st will I get banned?
Will I get banned? Of course you can. So that's my... Little tiger, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I'm trying to think. Pretty sure, yeah, that's everything, I think, man. That's, and that's all my tattoos that I got. Them. Oh, wait, actually. All right. If you, if you right. know about Good. rap music, uh, 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 you'll know who Madlib is. And Madlib has an alter ego called Quasimoto, which is a rapper. Um, and he is it's like a character. It's like a cartoon character that he raps as with like a pitched up voice. And I've got him on my calf. And then the first ever song that I produced that I made any money off that went quite big on like Capital and the radio was a song for any and Odile called Bernie Mac. I produced that, so I got that tattooed up as well. She just says above my knee. Yup, that's all my tattoos, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. That's a hella clean shout out to the artist. Yeah, the artist is sick, man. The artist is really good. It's the same. I pretty much go to the same guy for most of my stuff. Because he's really clean with it. You know, it's like all well done and stuff. Sparky, yes. You know you have too many tats when you forget about them. Yeah, I have quite a lot. I have quite a lot. Does it hurt? Uh, it's not like it's it's, it's it's a it's a different type of pain. To be honest with you, it's like I wouldn't say it's super painful. Um, it's like because the way that I think about it is that as soon as the needle goes in you, it's never as bad as the first time the needle goes in. So it's like, if you can do that, it's just that consistently. It doesn't get worse than that. So it's like, it ain't that bad. It, it kind of feels after a while, you become so like accustomed to it that it's like very, how do I describe it? It's like a mellow pain. It doesn't do this. It's just like this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's just kind of uncomfortable, you know? Bernie Mac, yeah, I'll play you the song that I produced. I'll play 